Come in. Oh, hey, Chris. How's it going? Not too bad, dude. Not too bad. Why don't you grab a Coke, uh, take a seat, and we'll go over the THA and the permit to work. So, we made some uh, changes to the permit last week. We're going to have a new work on the site tomorrow. Okay, well, let me take a look at this. I can see you made the changes in the THA. It looks good. So, you're going to review this with the crew in the morning? Absolutely. It'd be the first thing we do. Okay. Well, let me just sign off on it, and then you're good to go. There you go. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks. Have a good day, man. We'll see you in the morning. Yeah. Work Management System is an ExxonMobil and Affiliates worldwide safety initiative to standardize and enhance the permit to work and the JSA system. This gives us the ability to provide a best-in-class safety program and uh, make sure that our, our workers are the safest in the world. Okay, everybody. So today we have a new worker on site, Robert. Robert, I'm going to be teaming you up with Matt. And Matt, you're going to take Robert through the short service worker program and the mentorship work program. And uh, make sure Robert knows that he can come to anybody, not just me, but anybody on site for anything that he needs. Yeah, make sure you let us know if there's a problem. You know, we want you to work safe and get home in one piece. Sounds good. It's been proven in our industry that the most accident prone people are the people that are new to site. That's where we come into play with our mentorship program to help guide and lead, right? And protect. Anything from you, Nathan? Yeah, guys, I just wanted to uh, go over our priorities for operating. Uh, number two is take care of your workplace and neighborhood. Yeah. Uh, take care of business. Yeah, that's number three. Uh, Rob, you did the fundamentals of safety yesterday. Can you tell me number one? Isn't it take care of yourself and others? Yeah, and that's the most important one on site, guys. You guys have been doing really well with safety. Um, this whole shift, let's keep up the good work and remember that's our number one priority. Thanks, Nathan. One more thing before we stretch. One of our uh, main focuses this week, not just this week, but every week, is near misses and reporting your hazards. We have to report our hazards, make sure you write them down and hand them in. I don't understand that. If it's not an actual accident, how can we have to report it? Any comments? Well, it may be a miss this time, but under slightly different circumstances, something really bad could have occurred. So somebody could have got injured, there could have been a damage. If we don't communicate it, then nobody learns from it. And especially important for guys coming to our crew new like Robert, uh, who don't know the hazards, right? Yeah, that makes sense. We openly ask questions in safety meetings, just so people are aware of the hazards that aren't normally aware and new to site. Okay guys, we're gonna be doing an LPO today on the equipment condition and use. Main priority throughout today, safety, like always. Um, Matt. Can you lead us off with the stretches? Yeah. I call shotgun. Do you have the map out to site today? Yeah, sure, it's under the seat. Just let me get it here. Oh, don't take your seatbelt off. We'll just take a pull out up here. Oh, no, don't pull over. I'll be fine. Oh. Yeah, that's fine. We'll just take a pull out there, Rob. very important to be safe at all times even though it feels safe because you don't know what's around the corner you never know take for instance that truck that pulled out in front of us nobody saw that coming and well if I didn't have my seatbelt on it could have been ugly <laughs> 